All right, we are trying some new tech components, or I rather should say, I am trying some new tech components. I believe Healing Touch Chiropractic has used them prior. This is my first time. Um, but I wanted to follow up after yesterday's conversation when I was talking about cranial bones and how a lot of assessment and evaluation when we're looking at kiddos and determining their need for chiropractic care is observation. And we're observing more than just this, and there's definitely more pieces than this, but I wanted to provide this tool for you if you have kiddos at home. So when we talked yesterday, I had brought up looking for flat spots or asymmetries, like side to side, um, like with the, the, the conical shape, um, all of those different pieces. And I wanted to share a tool, as I said, that might be really useful for you um, in looking at not just those cranial bones because your skull is also comprised of facial bones. So I have uh, a graphic, which is why we're using some new tech. Um, let's see if I can figure out how to show it to you. Haha. -ha. Okay. So um, I was trying to find a picture of my own child because I don't want to, well, because I can pick up my own kids, but instead I found a stock image off of Facebook. Nope. Off of Google. There's where stock images are, which will serve the same purpose. So if you were looking at this image, I right off the bat can see easily um, some facial asymmetries just because I have been trained to look for these things. And I've spent a lot of time and energy learning to do it efficiently. So what I can see right off the bat is like the right eye is bigger than the left. The um, like the nasal flares actually more on that right side. If you're looking at the uh, nasal labial creases, the left side is more pronounced. If you're looking at the line of the jaw, the right angle comes out more. If you're looking at the level of the ears, the left ear is lower. When you're looking at your kid most of the time, you're either looking at them, um, one, in a state of, oh my gosh, you're sleeping, you're the most perfect, content, serene thing there ever was, or oh my gosh, I cannot believe you just threw a baseball through the window we just installed. I want to beat you. Uh, so you're not necessarily looking at things um, like <laughs> calmly and objectively. So what you do, everyone has a smartphone these days. Take a picture of your kiddo. And what you do is you take the picture. And then when you go to edit it, you flip the picture upside down. So you can see on uh, this little boy, we're going to call him Linus. So right off the bat, it's almost like the eye size difference jumps out at you. You can tell the ears, oh wow, that left one really is, I mean, it's higher in the upside down image, but it's actually lower. The shoulders, you can tell that the left shoulder is high. We're getting, I'm getting off track here because I'm talking about facial bones. Um, but a little quick snippet that is super useful um, for you in helping, helping determine. And I don't actually know if I brought up yesterday that, um, again, these aren't the only pieces that we're looking for, for determining the, the need for chiropractic care with kids, but it is a really important piece. This also is not um, to say when people do opt for helmets or what I yesterday deemed more aggressive interventions. It's not saying that it's only for aesthetic reasons that we want uh, a perfectly symmetric and functioning skull. When we talk about cranial bones that travel through holes in those, um, or and not just holes in the bones, but even through openings where they articulate, those nerves traveling, the soft tissue and the dural connections for the facial bones, for the cranium, for the cervical spine. Those are all super important. So use this at home, have some fun and play with it. If you have questions, as always, reach out to us and you should um, expect to see some different formatting like this as we, as we chug along. So here's to a totally awesome, hopefully I'm making eye contact with the right place. I'm, 
Um, but here's to an awesome Thursday. We'll see you soon.